Hi, welcome to Learning Monkey. I am Raghuveer. In this class, we discuss about an example to understand finite automata. This example will help you a lot about understanding finite automata, which we discuss in our coming classes. This is a continuation class. Please watch our previous class and come back here. The link for the playlist is provided in the description below. Because this is our first classes, we will explain the concepts very slowly and we will repeat the explanation again and again for better understanding. Okay, for because this is our first classes, so we are going slow. Let's take the let's refresh the concepts which we discussed in our previous class, then we come continue with the example then we will understand what's the use of this uh, uh, and how it will help you in understanding finite automata which we discuss in our coming classes uh, let's take an example and understand this is our example which we have considered in our previous class uh, what we explained in our previous class this is our keyboard so whenever you type the keyboard uh, on this keyboard we are having only two keys zero and one if you type the keyboard, if you, if you type the keys on this keyboard, the input will be entered and saved in a memory location. That memory location we call it as random access memory. Assume that our input is one double zero triple one. This is the input which we have entered. You can give any length of input. Not only this, for the under, for example, we have taken this input one double zero triple one is our input. Whenever the input is saved in the memory location, now we have to construct a logic we will use these terms interchangeably logic machine this discussion is done in our previous class we have to done a logic write a logic means now the process now the logic has been processed this logic will identify it has to accept the strings what logic we have to construct accept strings contain last character one if our string contains last character one accept those strings otherwise don't accept those strings this is the logic we have to construct so it's very easy the logic is very easy because we are having random access memory already input is saved in this memory now what we are doing here we are moving on this memory and we are going to the last location check the character if the character is one yes accept the string otherwise don't accept the string this is the logic we, which we construct in our today's programming languages and we discussed that if this memory is not there forget about this memory we don't have a memory device not at invented then how we construct the logic that that is what we will take this example we will construct the logic in this class so this is very simple example in our coming exam coming classes we will do more complex logics without this memory we will construct logic for more complex problems without this memory so please watch carefully again and again till you get the clarity and uh, the important points you have to remember if you don't have this memory how the process will be how the processing will be see the first one is uh, take first character and process because we don't have the memory we have to take the first character what's our first character one after typing the first character immediately it has to be processed because there is no memory to save in like this immediately process then take the second character process then take the third character process then take the fourth character process this is how we have to execute based on this you have to think the logic for that purpose we are explaining these points so all these points keep it in your mind based on this identify the logic because we don't have memory and we do not know what input character comes next so if you take the first character you process it you don't know what input character comes next maybe i stop with a single character maybe i stop with two characters next character i may give zero i may give one i don't know if you save the input we know we can go move to this position and we can check the law we can check the next character and based on that we can write the logic but here we don't have that flexibility so that is the point you have to remember you have to understand we don't know what input character comes next based on that we have to design the logic and one more thing input length also not known maybe i can give single one maybe i can give one zero this string should not be accepted because one zero last character is zero this string should be accepted one zero one because last character is one this string should be accepted because the last character is one we are having only one character the last character is one this string should be accepted 
so now how to construct the logic construct the logic that is the point we come so just follow the procedure what we are explaining here slowly with practice you will get how to construct the logic but this is the basics try to understand try to think about it multiple times in order to construct the logic just follow it at the end you will get clarity why we have chosen all this and you will get clarity at the end just follow just follow okay we are taking two states the first state we call it as q1 and final state we call it as qf so we are taking two states this we call it as initial state and this is final state our objective is we will start at q1 we will start at initial state and we move on the states according to the input we move on the states okay according to the input we move on the states after completion of the input after taking all the input characters if you end up in qf means final state the string should be accepted otherwise if you end up somewhere else not on the final state string is not accepted based on this we have to construct the logic you remember the points again we start at q1 this is what initial state is we will we move on these states we move on these states this is the final state after processing the input take the input move on the states after processing after moving the after taking all the input characters if you end up in qf means the string should be accepted that is how we have to construct the logic otherwise if it is not end up on the final state string is not accepted that is how that these points based on these points we construct the logic now step by step we will construct the logic come to the this is the input we have taken one double zero triple one this is the input take the first character the first step is we'll take the first character so first character is one so think about it first character is one we don't know what character comes next and we don't know whether next character he will enter or not so based on that if you assume that this is the end of the characters means this is the final character so is it accepted is, is this character should be accepted or not accepted yes we have to accept it because one single one should be accepted so that's why from q1 whenever on q1 on state q1 if you encounter a one character one we are moving from q1 to qf so with single one character where you end up you end up on state qf it's accepted now coming to the after now now on which state we are in we are on qf take the second input character what's the second input character zero if you take zero the second input character now we are at qf on the final state so already we got one now we encountered zero if you think that this is the last character we don't know which character comes next based on that we have to construct the logic we don't know which character comes next and maybe this is the end of the character if this is the end of the character now you are in qf state it should be accepted or not accepted no one zero string one zero means it's not accepted that's why we are moving to q1 state on qf if you encounter zero move to q1 state now by by looking at uh, two input characters we moved from here to here and we moved again to here now we, we are in q1 state encounter the third input what's the third input we have encountered zero on q1 state if you encountered the input zero one already one zero is encountered now we are in q1 state if you encountered the character zero is it accepted or not accepted maybe this is the last character if this is the last character it should be accepted or not accepted not accepted one zero zero string should not be accepted so q1 if you encounter zero stay on q1 only stay on q1 only so now we are in the state q1 means initial state we are on state q1 uh, initial state uh, take the fourth character what's the fourth character on q1 if you find one which way we are moving we are moving to qf we are moving to qf now we are in a Q, qf state final state yes one double zero one up to now what's the string we encountered one double zero one 
now coming to the fifth character what character we have taken one now we are in state qf now we encountered one what's the meaning of it one double zero one one last character if you think that this is the last character it should be accepted now we are in a which state we are in we are on state qf so it should be accepted that's why we are taking this one here so if you encounter one on qf state stay on qf state only stay on qf state only how many ones you encountered on qf stay on qf qf state only why because this is the last character this is the last character because we don't know which character comes next which character comes next you think about it think multiple times the first 10 classes we construct different logic complexity of logics increases step by step okay sixth character again we encountered one we stay and count uh, this is our final logic most of them will get uh, so many questions in your mind that uh, how we design a machine for this uh, we are taking that this is the logic we encountered yes we can convert for understanding purpose we will we will convert this into a program and we will explain it uh, for understanding purpose to get give you an intuition we are explaining it but this is not the right thing to do like this remember that point this is not the right thing to do like this so this is our final uh, uh, logic which we constructed q1 is the initial state qf is the final state and we constructed this logic on q1 if you encountered zero stay on stay on q1 on q1 if you encountered one move to qf write the code for this simply take a function q1 is a function take input character if no input if input is not given print not accepted why we have printed not accepted we are on q1 in uh, if you end up in q1 no input means uh, input is over if you end up on q1 print uh, not accepted else if input is equal to 1 return you are calling the function qf we are moving to state that's what we are happening here else if input is equal to 0 return again call the same function q1 of so this is how we can we can convert this uh, so but in our subject we deal the logics like this uh, don't convert into programs we do uh, okay that point you have to remember and the remaining function qf function we have not yet mentioned on the qf take the input if no input print accepted we are on state qf you try to write the program for the qf if you have this program you can easily convert it into a electronic this logic can be implemented using electronic devices and electronic circuits now we designed a machine which accepts the input strings which which strings will be accepted if you have the character last character is equal to one then only it will accept otherwise it won't accept and the second point also you have to remember if you construct the logic you should not concentrate only on acceptance not accepted strings also you have to concentrate means if you take the input 100 0, 0, this string should not be accepted means this string should not be end up on final state okay 1 0 0 where we end up we end up on q1 yes the, so both the conditions you have to check based on that we have to construct the logic okay hope you understand the concept if you have went understand this concept please watch the concept again and again try to construct on your own this helps you a lot in understanding the remaining subject easily hope you understand the concept if you have any questions regarding the concept please post your questions in the comment section below thanks for watching if you haven't subscribed to our channel please subscribe to our channel and press bell icon for the latest updates thank you